Can you guess what connects your happy child, an Eskimo, my blind uncle and an Australian shepherd? I'm sure you can't. It's a dog. Dog is the only animal that plays almost a dozen different roles by dint of its virtues and inherent attributes. Today, I'll share with you the amazing variety of roles this animal plays for humans. Hi, I am Basak from Savannah Safari. That's S-A-V-A-N-A -A Safari. As a wildlife enthusiast, I speak and write on the wonders of Mother Nature. And I specifically undertake customized adventure tours to Kenya and Tanzania. Every family who has a dog would tell you that their children are very happy playing with their pet. They would sleep together, eat together, play hide and seek, and when out in the garden or amidst nature, have ball over time. Our children, otherwise naughty, spontaneously takes care of their canine companion. Pets teach children valuable life lessons like responsibility, trust, compassion, respect, and patience. While we enjoy the wintry Christmas and our kids await gift from Santa arriving by a sledge, of reindeers, packs of huskies pull sledges in the snow-covered arctic circle. For 2000 years without these precious dogs, the Siberians, Alaskans or Finns could neither travel, shop or even hunt. Still very popular in this age of mechanization, the huskies are now used for recreational purpose. Every year, they participate in sled dog racing, wherein they pull racing sleds over snow-covered cross-country courses. Though not very big, huskies are strong and athletic in nature that enables them to pull weights several times theirs and for a long time. The farmers of Australia engaged in sheep breeding have their ranches spread over thousands of square kilometers. They live a challenging life rearing thousands of sheep over this huge stretch, driving them from one grazing ground to another, herding them to the shelters in the evening, and once again taking them out in the morning. Their biggest help in this difficult task is their sheepdog who responds to the farmer's commands with precision and takes care of the sheep, disciplining them from time to time. These dogs inherent, have inherent herding instinct and protects and guides the sheep tirelessly throughout the day. Detection of some diseases like cancer is usually very invasive and hence painful. Some countries have replaced these invasive investigations by using biodetection dogs who just sniff out the disease from the non-diseased. These dogs are used not only for detection of cancer but also malaria and H1N1 virus. Surprisingly, against the usual hours or days wait for the test result, the dogs give their diagnosis within minutes, and this is 90% accurate. In view of the millions of COVID-19 invasive tests being conducted, researchers are now trying to introduce bi biodetection dogs for detection of COVID-19. Couple of years back, my widowed uncle living in US lost his sight. My visit to him last year was a revelation. I expected an old man in dark glasses confined to one corner of the home. Instead, I found him leading a normal life, going out for shopping or riding buses to the mall and parks. All this he did with the help of his guide dog, Joy. I realized 
that not only was the dog helping him to remain mobile, but was also his full-time companion, giving him confidence and a sense of independence. When I inquired my uncle, he just said, Joy has made my life complete. While Joy was leading my uncle across the street of US, far away in the mountainous Afghanistan, his cousin army dog Tom was leading a team of US soldiers out to capture a dreaded terrorist. They were moving towards a territory known for its hostility to Americans. The soldiers knew that at any moment, uh, an IED or improvised explosive device planted on their path could blow them to fragments. So they allowed Tom to lead them. Tom's strong sense of smell, aided by months of training, can pick up hidden IEDs long before the team comes to harm. Thus, in spite of availability of technology and the presence of robo dogs, live army dogs are critical to every army unit. Back in US, when the narcotics team receives intelligence of arrival of a large consignment of drug, they fall back on their reliable narcotics detection dog, Amy. Amy can systematically sniff out all passengers and their luggage for the peculiar smell of drug. And this he does in 15 minutes, while the officials take days and often fail to detect. Amy has been trained to detect drugs like cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, and he detects them, however difficultly packed. Across the Atlantic, in Amsterdam airport, amusing incidents are taking place. Sherlock, an adorable beetle, has been engaged by KLM for returning lost items to its passengers. For Sherlock, who works in the lost and found department, his job is to sniff out lost items, pick them up, identify the passengers inside the airport and promptly return them the lost items. While the passengers are ecstatic on finding what they had lost inadvertently, the airline is happy to see smile on their customer's face. KLM has subtly upwardly differentiated its service and Sherlock appreciates their strategy and wags his tail in appreciation. Today's dog entered the human society about 3,000 years back when its forefather, the wolf, ventured into the human habitation one night. Over the centuries, it has evolved continuously, depending on the necessity of humans. His multifarious roles we just discussed proves why even after 3,000 years, dog is man's best friend in happiness, in sickness, in work, and also in war. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and join me in this amazing journey where I bring you face to face with the cradle of civilization. Savannah Safari, your tryst with adventure.